other people are creating files and not everyone is as diligent as you in saving files with correct names, right? In making it useful to find them or making them searchable. So folders, in my opinion, are still very useful for that moment where someone else has created a file, you don't know what it's called and you wanna go and find it. Shared Google Drives, no folders in my drive. Can you teach us how you name your files in order to make sure things are easily searchable and organized without folders? Okay, that's an interesting question. My philosophy is very much to use folders so that you have a structure to fall back on if you can't find a file. It's pretty easy to name files in a way that is searchable. I'm gonna open up my Google Drive. So I'm here inside my my drive and from here let's say i want to search for files related to boot camp because we run lots of boot camps with our customers right i can just search for the word boot camp and it's going to show me all of those files that's pretty easy pretty straightforward right it's going to show me the location that they're in i often use dates in reverse order to just signify okay if i'm doing five boot camps over the course of the year I want to be able to designate which is which. So I put the date of the boot camp at the start. So let's have a look at maybe searching for that date and I'll be able to find all files that I've named against that date. So that one was, what was that? 24, 10, 31. Oh, that's the upcoming one. So it's probably not much. That's okay though. 24, 10, 31. All right, cool. So we've got a few, few files here, just two files that have been created for that so far. But once it's finished, we'll probably have things like the video recording of the event. We'll have any additional files, like maybe a feedback form that would probably have the date in it as well. Searching is pretty straightforward. The other thing I love about searching inside Google Drive is they've brought up these little search chips here. So it makes it nice and easy. I might say, okay, well, show me stuff that's owned by me. So only show me files that are owned by me. That's pretty easy to drill down in your search. And then if I want to use the advanced search, well, I can get into some pretty darn advanced stuff. The one I use the most is the type search here. And so that if I'm looking just for a presentation, I would search just for presentations and that's going to open it up here. Now, all of that is pretty easy to search for and find files within Google Drive, but I do not recommend you completely get rid of your folder structure because like folders are important in a very specific use case. Now, folders I use when I need to find a file and I don't know what it's called. You see, we've got a larger business now and we have many different areas of the business and other people are creating files and not everyone is as diligent as you in saving files with correct names, right? In making it useful to find them or making them searchable. So folders, in my opinion, are still very useful for that moment where someone else has created a file, you don't know what it's called and you wanna go and find it. So. My example of that is in my shared drives. I'll open up my shared drives on the left-hand side and you can see where I've got all of the different areas of the business and they each have their own shared drive. So you can see here we've got finance, up level, which is a specific project, attract is our marketing team, Excite is our sales team. Engage is our account management team. Deliver is our project team. Support is our customer support team. We've then got a few internal folders there. So you can see uh, HR goes into team admin. Uh, when we run a conference with our team, that goes into conferences. And our training file is where we put all of our training materials. So all of our SOPs, training videos, and all of that sits into team. We've also got, it looks like an old one there, ready to be merged. So what that does is that gives each area of the business a logical area to put files so that not only are they organized so someone knows where they are and someone can actually find them when they need them but also so the security settings only shares them with people who should have access to those files if i go in and open up the attract shared drive here you can see all of the files and folders that our marketing team needs right and so if someone has a file that they've created and they just need to plonk it somewhere if they're on the marketing team, they're gonna be putting it here in the marketing folder. Now, this folder might be a little bit messy. That's just the reality of running a business, right? Not everyone's gonna have perfectly organized Google Drive files or folders, unless it's someone's job that's designated to do that. But what you are gonna find is that when you have one place to put these, you'll see that the attract team is only shared with certain groups inside the business. So contractors, that's a security permissions group, they can contribute, so it means they can put files in but not delete them. Executive is obviously the manager. They can do everything they want. You have the attract team. That's our marketing team. They can add files, but not delete them. We've got a couple of other exec teams here. 
And then Team Genius, which is everyone in our company, they all sit inside that team. They have view only access. And that means that, okay, anything in marketing, anyone in the company can see, but they can't necessarily edit things. And so it means that like, if there's a slideshow that someone needs to see, if there's something that someone needs to review that we've produced as marketing material, it's available for everyone to view this whole shared drive. So that's the beauty of using files. It's really when you're in a situation where you need to find something, but you don't know what it's named, when it's really useful to use that. But I can totally understand not wanting to bother having a million files and folders in a very deep structure. There's a general rule. I don't know who made it up, but you should not go more than three folders deep when you're creating a folder structure. My personal preference is you have the shared drive set up as mandatory. You have the correct permissions set up as mandatory. And we have that video in our channel. If you want to go and search for Google Drive or sharing settings in our channel, we've got a tutorial on how to set up your folders and then how to set up your shared drives as well. So they're in this format. And then once you've done that, you just need to train your team on anything they share to put it in a shared drive. That's the most important thing. We've got a rule and that's no one uses the blue button. You never share a document manually. You only put documents into shared drives. And then when you put it in a shared drive, it's automatically shared with the right people and the wrong people don't have access to it. Very important tip.